But we begin with the latest developments on a shakeup with the Paw Sox. It's official. The team is moving to Worcester, Massachusetts. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. Only eyewitness news cameras were there as Paw Sox brass delivered a letter to Pawtucket City Hall ahead of this afternoon's announcement outlining their decision and the concerns they had about staying in Pawtucket, including the fact that Pawtucket had not yet acquired the Apex site where the stadium would have been built. Now, that big announcement in Worcester getting a lot of reaction from fans and local and state lawmakers. For fans, there's still plenty of time to catch a game. The Paw Sox will remain in Pawtucket through the 2020 season before moving to a new stadium in Worcester. All day long, we've had team and team coverage on this announcement. And the Paw Sox had a game tonight at McCoy Stadium. Eyewitness News reporter Sheila Lushido is there talking to fans to get their take on the move. First, let's head out to Steph Machado for more details on that deal. Steph? It has been three and a half years of debate over whether the Pawtucket Red Sox should build a new stadium here in Rhode Island or go elsewhere. Today, the AAA Ball Club finally decided they'd prefer to be the Worcester Red Sox. Larry, you're a tough fish to catch, but we got you, and we're really happy about that. Um, yeah. Massachusetts state and local officials celebrating in Worcester as the Pawtucket Red Sox announced they will move to that city and build a new stadium, rejecting a plan to build a new stadium in downtown Pawtucket. Paw Sox chairman Larry Lucchino giving this explanation to the crowd in Worcester. If my mother were still alive, this is the advice she would give me. Larry, why don't you take your team where it's wanted, where they really very much support you and, and, and want to have this ballpark done. Go where you're wanted, not where there's controversy and disagreement and opposition. Perhaps the Pawtucket Stadium's biggest champion, Mayor Donald Grebian, saying the Paw Sox do not make Pawtucket. He said, quote, I know many of my neighbors in Pawtucket and throughout Rhode Island are struggling today with the sudden news of this treasured piece of the fabric of our community being ripped out of its rightful home. It didn't have to be this way. Governor Gina Raimondo lamenting the move. She signed a bill into law in June that laid out a financing structure for a new stadium, but she preferred preferred an earlier deal struck last year. That version passed the Senate in January. The deal that I had proposed and that the Senate passed, I believe it paid for itself. I think the team would have accepted it. I think we could have moved swiftly. But the House, led by Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, never took that version up. Would you have accepted the plan that was passed by the Senate in January? Well, I'm not going to go back and answer hypotheticals, but thank you. It's the House plan that ultimately became law in June, now rejected by the Paw Sox. Pawtucket State Senator Donna Nesselbush very clear on who she blames. I blame one man, and I uh, am sorry to say and go on record as saying that I blame Nick Mattiello for the loss of the Pawtucket Red Sox. And Speaker Mattiello declined an interview with us today, but he sent us this statement that said in part the state's proposal contained strong protections for the taxpayers and shifted the risk to the investors. It is disheartening the Paw Sox did not show the same loyalty to the city of Pawtucket and the state of Rhode Island as the taxpayers and fans have shown to them for many decades. Mayor Grebian also declined an interview today, but he says he plans to speak with us more on Monday. The governor tonight also said the focus should be on finding another use for McCoy Stadium and helping Pawtucket move forward, but she left the door propped open, saying if Worcester doesn't work out, she would take the Paw Sox back. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.